Hey folks, this is Patrick from Secret Base Design. We've gotten a lot of questions on setting up audio streaming over Wi-Fi, going from an iOS device and in particular to a Mac. So in this tutorial, we're going to try to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough so you can get things set up to go to your Mac DAW. All of the things we're going to talk about here are linked from our Secret Base Design webpage. So if you're looking to find a particular app or piece of software, just go here. And we've also got written instructions to follow through. So the software that we're going to get on the iOS side of things, you're going to need audio bus, Apollo remote recorder, and there's also Apollo sound injector for the iOS that's free. On the Mac side of the picture, there's an Apollo sound injector AU that's on our webpage. And you'll also want to pick up Soundflower from cycling 74 and hosting AU from JOX. The iOS software is easy to get. Just go to iTunes and you can search for Audio Bus, Apollo Remote Recorder, and also Apollo Sound Injector. Easy to install and runs on any iOS device. You probably already know how to do this, but setting things up under Audio Bus is fairly simple. Just drop any synthesizer into the input slot and you can put Apollo Remote Recorder into the output slot. On another iOS device, you can put Apollo Sound Injector into the input slot and then whatever DAW you want into the output slot. And if that's all you're going to try to do, just a couple of iOS devices, this is as far as you need to go in the video, and you can set things up and get running right now. If you're going to the Mac though, you'll want to get the AU plugin, or for a PC, you'll want to pick up the VST. Both of these are off the Secret Base Design webpage. We're just going to focus on the Mac here, and so you'll grab the AU Apollo SI component, and then drop it into Library, Audio, Plugins, Components. The location of the file is important. OS X won't be able to find the plugin if it's not in the right place. Once the plugin is installed, you can see it in something like Logic. But we're going to do a little bit more here so that it's a little bit more flexible routing and you can connect to things like Ableton Live and other DAWs. So what we're going to do next is grab Soundflower off the web. This is a kernel extension for OS X, and it's available for free from the guys at Cycling74, a very useful bit of software that lets audio be sent from one application to another. Once you've got it downloaded, you'll just do a regular package install, and you might need to reboot your system. Next up is going to be Hosting AU from JU-X. It's again, it's available free off the internet, and it's a very useful little app. There are a couple of things that you have to install, but once you've got that done, we can get everything connected and be sending audio across Wi-Fi from one place to another. First off, we're going to start up Apollo Remote Recorder and turn on the web server. There's a button in the upper right-hand corner. This will list an IP address that we're going to use later to connect with Sound Injector. And now on the Mac, we're going to start up Hosting AU. You'll note in the upper left hand corner, we can select Apollo Sound Injector for a plugin. And down in the right hand corner, we're going to use the built in output. This way, when we send audio across, we're just going to play directly from the Mac and we can test out that part of the connection. The IP address that you need, that's going to be plugged in right here in the Sound Injector plugin. Type that in and hit connect. Once you've got audio streaming across correctly, we can now change Hosting AU to send its audio to Soundflower. This is going to let us route the audio into other desktop DAWs. Audio from Soundflower can then be sent directly into something like Logic. You can select Soundflower as an input device here. And you can also do the same sort of thing with Ableton. Here's the control panel in Live. Again, we'll select the audio input device as Soundflower, and then any audio that's streaming across Wi-Fi will land directly in there. So here's the full connection chain. We're going to send audio from some sort of synthesizer to Apollo Remote Recorder, and that's going to be on AudioBus on your iOS device. Apollo Remote Recorder will then send to Apollo Sound Injector, and that's going to go across Wi-Fi. Once the audio reaches Apollo Sound Injector, it passes off to Hosting AU, and then, finally, Hosting AU will send it to Soundflower, and then to your desktop DAW. One of the first questions you're going to ask is about latency and how much latency you see is going to depend a lot on your Wi-Fi network. If you're downloading a movie at the same time, it's not going to work very well. 
and it's generally not probably fast enough for live playing, but it should be great for recording. Apollo Remote Recorder and Sound Injector and all the other tools are available now, and you can pick them up off the internet. If you've got questions, please drop us a line.